everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a school day, so that meant there was schoolwork being done in my house, and that meant I didn't watch very many videos, and that meant, <laughs> what else did that mean? Oh, it meant that Mr. Brown got to go outside, and he played in the garden, and he took a dust bath with I don't know how he took a dust bath because the dirt's kind of damp. It's been mm -hmm. kind of wettish around here. And it's going to get wet again. It's dry. It was dry today, but the earth is still wet. And he came to the clap of my hands, which is good because I want him to come when I call him. I also noticed one of my birds. Now, I don't know if any of you have had this happen or not. But one of the the brown one, that's the one that follows the rooster all the way, all the time. She's one of the, what are you looking at? Hmm. <laughs> he's looking at something. I don't know what he's looking at. I was looking to see where that The cords? Cord. That cord goes to the heater mm -hmm. that's not turned on. <laughs> the other cord goes to the phone. Um, but anyways, this hen, the, the, where they, they follow the groupie. Oh, I couldn't think of her what she was. <laughs> the little groupie girl. That one, that hen, that brown. She's a brownish, light brown hen, but she's mean. That always seems to puck, peck the head of the poor little hen that pretty boy is fancying at the moment. She's always beating him on the head. And, it's, and, it's, and they squawk. And, well, today I noticed that she's got a couple of rooster feathers blooming on her tail. So is she really going to be a hen or is she going to be a rooster, I wonder. She has laid eggs before, as far as I know, because I have found her in the nesting box. But I'm trying to think, did she ever leave an egg? I think she did. I don't know what her eggs looked like, but I think she did. I have, I know she would go and sit on a nest when somebody else was off a nest, but also the dark brown one would do that too, so that was something that she did. But it was strange because she's starting to get little little plumage. Her tail is looking like it's going to be a rooster tail. And as far as Mr. Brown goes, I'm still up in the air with him. His wings told me he was a rooster. His dangling legs told me he was a rooster. He has all this, his, his tail feathers say he's a rooster. The feathers around his neck say he's a rooster. But his crown on his head still says, I'm a hen. So is Mr. Brown a Miss, Mrs. Brown? Or Mr. Brown? I, I don't know. I have to wait. My, my one granddaughter says, well, when it either crows or lays eggs, which is true. She's heard that before. And then we will know. So we're still kind of up in the air. So I've got some confusion going on in my hen house. Mm -hmm. I do know who the rooster is, and I do know most of the hens. But that one hen is a mystery, and Mr. Brown's a mystery. And I also have another hen out there that it's got the head of a hen but a tail of a rooster. So I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's until, until it crows or lays an egg. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And that isn't until they're at least four months old, depending on the breed. Some are four months and some are a little longer than four months. Now, like some of the hens that I had, like Little Lady, she's not laying an egg yet and she's well over four months. Mm -hmm. Her face is just now starting to get red. My goodness, can she run? Today she was running and she was actually running faster than the hen that she was running alongside of her. And she she bolted up ahead, and she was faster. So she's she's doing really, really good. So I, I think that's everything today. Mm -hmm. I watched. I didn't watch many videos. I can't say it. Well, I watched a couple. I did, when I was watch, when I was commenting, I did my comments. And I put on a couple videos, but they're the kind that talk. So I could listen while I was thinking, and it's really hard. 
And I called Lynn today. Hi, Lynn. I enjoyed your um, video about whom, who's going to make you happy or happiness. It was about happiness. So if you haven't watched The Goat Shed Life, wait a minute, is that what mm -hmm. it's called? My Goat Shed Life. I think it's called My, My, goat, shed, My goat Shed Life. If you haven't watched her, you should be watching her. If you like to laugh, she is funny. She is really funny. I enjoy it. And she always has a good um, message within her videos. Her videos are not a waste of time, like I sometimes feel mine are. But there was, there's always a message in there. And you get to see, and she actually had to go to get um, tested for this blue booger to go see her mother. And she, she brings us along while she does that. And it's really funny. you got to watch it. you just got to watch her. And I'll put the link in, um, in my more section so you can find her real easy. So, and, and, and you'll enjoy Lynn's videos. I enjoy them. <laughs> in fact, I, if I want to feel happy, happy, <laughs> which I'm already happy, but I want to <laughs> feel happier, I will watch hers. And she really, she really gives you a chuckle. And I guess that is my video for today. So I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.